Welcome back to the 11th hour. We promised you this before we went to the break, and we want to uh, bring you up to speed on a political story that is breaking as we speak tonight, a lot of it over Twitter. It starts with Politico, apparently the recipients of a leak of Scaramucci's financial statement. So uh, Anthony Scaramucci's finances that he submitted to get this new job, uh, and there's an indication in the headline of Politico he stands to profit from Skybridge, his fund uh, and his time in the White House. So Scaramucci tweets this uh, tonight. In light of the leak of my financial disclosure info, which is a felony, I will be contacting FBI and the Justice Department. He chooses to follow that with hashtag swamp and tags Reince Priebus. Uh, our friend Phil Rucker of the New York Post looks up at his phone and notifies us this way that this is real. Tensions between Scaramucci and Priebus are raw as ever, I'm told tonight. There's a reason Mooch tagged Reince on FBI leak tweet. Ryan Lizza at the New Yorker is on the board. He tweeted tonight, in case there's any ambiguity in his tweet, I can confirm that Scaramucci wants the FBI to investigate rights for leaking. Um, okay, Charlie Sykes, um, don't you need a White House organization, um, that fine-tuned machine, to be running to then set out uh, at the, on, on the business of the agenda of the American people and the administration? Uh, okay, look, it, it, it's Wednesday, and we haven't had enough uh, dysfunction and division yet in the White House or the Trump administration. But, I mean, this takes it to a whole different level. The guy is not even actually officially on the job. He, but he was appointed five days ago, and he's already, by the, you know, clearly has the, has the, uh, the long knives out for Reince Priebus. Look, this White House, uh, as dysfunctional as, as it is, you know, is not big enough now for, you know, two high-level staffers um, tweeting, suggesting that, the, that somebody else might have committed a, a felony. So just when you thought it couldn't get any wackier or uglier, it does. And the new guy, I think, has signaled exactly, you know, for people going, well, is the mooch going to clean things up? Are things going to become a little bit more, you know, regular order in the White House? Uh, I think we got a resounding uh, no to that. And so, Kimberly, these stories also all come around to you because the agenda lands on your beat. Um, so, uh, so I find myself asking you yet again on yet another appearance on our broadcast, what about tax policy? What about <laughs> infrastructure? And so on. Where are those votes that they can just lock in and count on? Yeah, it, it's tough, and it's making it harder and harder for Republicans to stand behind them and back them uh, in these policies that they would much rather uh, be focusing on. And the president himself is stepping on his own message. Today, he had a big uh, announcement about jobs in manufacturing right. that nobody is Huge. talking about. In Wisconsin. Uh, in, in yeah. Wisconsin, a very important state, nobody's talking about it, and, and because he himself uh, is taught is you know talk, attacking Jeff Sessions on on Twitter, being increasingly increasingly combative on Twitter, and it's an interesting point. We've been wondering how much of that is Scaramucci's uh, influence, uh, the fact that he is being so open in his uh, criticism of Jeff Sessions on Twitter, something that both Ryan's Priebus and Steve Bannon want him to pull back on. And Charlie. So I think I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. No, as I say, I think this is evidence that uh, it, it, that uh, Anthony Scaramucci's hand might be in that as well. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.